We have seen a decline in coronavirus cases in the U.S. and here in San Diego, but at the same time, a growing number of cases involving the U.K. variant, which is said to be more transmissible than the original strain. San Diego has the most U.K. variant cases in the state at more than 80. Some researchers are now worried the spread of this variant could undermine the progress we have seen recently. Joining us to talk about what could come is UCSD infectious disease modeler and associate professor Natasha Martin. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about the fact that we are going through a vaccine rollout, but there are concerns even with that. What are the dangers of this variant if it spreads rapidly here? The concern with this B117 variant is that evidence indicates that it's more transmissible than the variants that we have currently circulating. The exact amount is uncertain, but it could be between 35 and 70% more transmissible. And what that means is that even though we're in a period of uh, declining cases where um, every infection leads to less than one new infection, the increased transmissibility of this vi variant um, could likely lead to a resurgence in cases in the absence of any change in behavior. So as the variant expands in the population and becomes the dominant strain, which it will on a, more, on a matter of um, weeks to months from now, we could see again a resurgence in cases and potentially a, a large surge, uh, even in the background of an extensive vaccination program especially if we don't move fast enough with the vaccines. As you know, the stay at home order here in the southern region of California was just lifted. So businesses are already expanding operations. Do you think we are reopening too soon? I think we're at a really critical period and we need to be extremely cautious about reopening. Again, of course, it's, it's excellent news that the cases have come down, but I think we need to be extremely vigilant in the coming weeks to months to uh, monitor the expansion of this variant. Again, it's not a question of whether this variant will become dominant, it will. But the question is whether we can um, reduce transmissibility and vaccinate enough people so that when this variant becomes the dominant strain, it will not lead to uh, a surge that could potentially overwhelm our healthcare systems. Now, uh, you know, we, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We know what we need to do in order to reduce transmission of this virus. Masking, distancing, uh, vaccinating as many people as quickly as possible. We just need to do that more, better, to both prevent uh, any surge in cases because of this virus and also reduce the amount of circulating virus in the community so that we don't um, have another variant arise that could potentially be more transmissible, more lethal, and potentially uh, the vaccines are less effective against. You talked about what we can all do, which is the same. It's social distancing, it's wearing masks, and just being vigilant this way. What about the businesses that are reopening? They already had restrictions in place before the shutdown. Is that enough, what they're doing, most of the operations outside, for example, distancing, all of that? Do you think that will be enough to keep this from becoming a crisis? I think we need to be ready to pivot if we need to uh, as soon as possible. What we've seen already um, in this epidemic is that when we get surges, the surges can come quickly and they can overwhelm our healthcare system as we saw in the November, December period. We just need to be uh, aware that the, that the expansion of these variants may result in surges and we need to be able to quickly pivot. Um, and potentially, you know, restrict our activities in, and increase our efforts at social distancing um, in response to that. So it's really just about being aware that this is on the horizon, monitoring the expansion of the variants, uh, sequencing so that we understand what is circulating in our community and being ready to adapt when we need to. All right, Natasha Martin with UCSC, thank you so much for your expertise and hopefully we will be able to avoid that scenario. Thank you.